Welcome to M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com. In part two of our off-ice stick handling series, we're going to show you some drills that you can do off-ice to work on your stick handling using just a series of pucks. So again, not much setup. I'm using blue pucks here so they stand out a little bit better on the video. Um, but the first one we're going to do is just a simple figure eight drill. We're going to start with the pucks just over shoulder width apart from my feet. So uh, again, I want the middle of my blade uh, to be flat on the ice or flat on the surface in this case and I want the pucks kind of in line with where my stick lays flat so that you know where to gauge yourself. We're going to work on a little bit of reaching with some weight transfer here. So we actually went through this drill on ice in our stick handling 101 video that you can find on YouTube. But it's, this works off ice very well also. So we're going to start off, pucks right out in front of us. We're going to make sure we're rolling the wrist, keeping control of the puck all the way through. We're going to make sure we go both directions. Okay. Pull it, control it, hands away from the body, so we're working on reach. But most importantly, we're working on leaning from side to side as we make these moves. So as I'm coming around these cones, I'm kind of leaning the appropriate direction, right? And making sure that we've got good, solid weight transfer going here so that we can apply it to game situations, okay? Next one we're gonna do, we're just gonna actually keep the pucks exactly where they're at. Same concept, my stick blade's gonna sit flat right in the middle of the two pucks. And I'm just gonna stick handle in a figure eight this direction now. So now, we work a little bit more on reach. Again, depending on how wide the pucks are, you might work on that slide move that we worked on in the first series. Okay, if I'm a little narrower, I don't have to worry too much about it. But if I'm coming out here on a wider reach, I can slide my hand up to, to get a little bit extra reach as we go. And same thing here, you can get used to Move in just a little bit, you can do it stationary, completely work on only reach, or you can take a couple steps, okay, stay in a low attack position, keep your head up again, seeing the ice can add stick handles in between, okay, have a little fun with it, make sure you practice both directions. The next drill we're going to do, we're going to grab one extra puck, we're going to make ourselves a little triangle here. So, with the triangle, we're basically going to be working on the same concepts, really working on cupping the ball or the puck coming around, keeping the hands away from the body. Okay, you don't have to do necessarily the same pattern every time, but the basic concept is out, back around each, and then change, uh, change directions, come back through so you're stick handling around every single puck, every single cone. Coming around, control it, able to look up while you're doing this, control, Okay, change directions, shift your weight a little bit, and keep going. So next, we'll add one more puck. We're gonna make a box again. There's no rigid patterns here. This is just kind of a basic, uh, basic setup for you. And you can kind of go wherever you want in these. You can go across, you can go diagonal. Okay, you can do mini figure eight up here, then pull back through, go around each one. However you wanna do it, just vary it up. This keeps it a little bit different. There's a, lot, there's a few more options here. So we're gonna be able to use a little bit more creativity when we do these drills. So again, focus is on keeping your eyes looking up, seeing up, okay? Cup in the ball, range of motion, hands in front of the body. Next one we're gonna do, real simple, we're gonna take a couple extra pucks. We're gonna make a nice little line and we're gonna work on stick handling not only forward, but also backwards through them. So as we go through, we're gonna go from side to side to side to side, come back through, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, back, back, back. Again, looking up, you can have a partner at the end of the puck pattern, uh, holding up a different number of fingers so we'd yell them out, however many fingers he's holding up so you get in the habit of your eyes are up here, looking ahead while you're doing this drill. Last one we're going to show you, we're just going to stagger these pucks a little bit. So we're working on some reach. Let's create a little variance here. And so now it's the same concept, but we're just working on a little bit bigger reach. Reach pull every time we come through. So here, snap, roll the wrist over, roll the wrist over, roll the wrist over every time you go through. Again here, boom. Okay, you can pick up the speed. Work on the control, work on the control, work on the control, bring it through. So again, things you want to look for are head up, athletic stance, weight transfer, hands in front of the body, and cupping the puck, keeping the puck in the middle of your blade. Hope you find these tips helpful. We'll see you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.